Our first scripture reading will be in unison and is the beginning of the familiar Christmas story from Luke 2, 1 to 7. Please join me. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. At this time, I'd like to invite the children forward for the time with children. And if Helen and Gregory are going to be brave and meet me down front, we're going to meet on this first pew. Welcome and Merry Christmas. So, I already asked you this, but um, you've been up since 5.45? Yes, and you're right. So, we have had during Advent, which is the time before Christmas, um, it's hidden again. Do you see under there? It's called uh, a crash. And there's Mary and Joseph and the baby, baby's name's Jesus, right? Okay. And there's some animals there, and there's an angel, and there's some stars. But I talked about this last night, but I actually did it this morning. There's other care. I'm going to, forgive me, I'm going to stand right here just so that the um, people who are watching online can see somebody. <laughs> um, so if you look around the room, the other characters of the, of the story of who come to see Jesus when he's born are around here. So do you want to stand up and look? Back in that back window over there, do you see them? Those are the magi or the three kings. They have days and days and days of walking yet to do before they show up in Bethlehem. And then over there, what do you see on that window? Some shepherds, you see the little sheep, right? They're probably going to show up tonight in Bethlehem and, and surprise Mary and Joseph by saying, guess what, some angels came and told us that Jesus was born and we wanted to come celebrate. And then they were asked to go share the news with everybody. And they did so joyfully. They were amazed that what they had been told was true. And then with joy, they were also amazed that God would come and visit them, that the angels would come and visit them. So they shared joyfully the news of Jesus' birth. Okay, so when you have a, uh, when something you find that you really like, do you tell other people about it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, like if you see a, read a good book, or you uh, see a good movie, or what else? Good food? A good outfit? And, and <laughs> I'm just laughing. When somebody compliments your outfit, you often tell them, oh, I got it at, right? Yeah, so you're sharing the good news, right? So this is so I was thinking, what? What would they not have gotten for Christmas? Something that I that you're gonna laugh. <laughs> These are really good. I got we got them last week, and I was um, ever gotten an orange for Christmas? Well, now you have, because <laughs> they're real because they're really good, and um, 
when you have something good, you share it. And that's what, that's what we do here. That's why we're all here, because people shared um, the story of Jesus with us, and then it became our story, and we keep sharing it. So I hope you enjoy. I hope, I hope those are as good as I remember they were. And if you want something to do. All right, so, and this is this particular set of the Mary and Joseph, they don't have faces. And all throughout Advent, the other kids were like, why don't they have faces? Every week, where are the faces? So I found pictures of a shepherd without a face so that you could draw it in if you want to. In the very back, there are crayons and coloring pencils or anything like that if you want to do that. And on the back, there's a thank you note that you can give to your big people if you want to to thank them for making Christmas so special for you. Will you say a prayer with me? And then you can thank you for being so brave and coming forward. All right, let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus um, and for his story and our story that we're going to keep on sharing. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you can go back. Our second scripture lesson comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone who was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And let us join our hearts in prayer. Gracious God, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts might be acceptable in your sight, for you are our rock and our redeemer. Amen. So how to tell the story. Mark, in the Gospel of Mark, he just jumps right to the proclamation of John the Baptist. Doesn't worry at all about the birth narrative. Luke focuses in on Mary, and we know the heart of God through the Magnificat as she proclaims that God loves justice and seeks righteousness and wants that there to be no more oppression, that people might be lifted up and live in peace. Matthew Gospel writer Matthew tries to put it all in in context and starts with this long genealogy. And then he gives us the gift of Joseph's story, where we also learn about the heart of God. We are told that Joseph is a righteous man, but not a rule follower. If righteousness would have meant when he finds out that Mary is pregnant, he could have, the rules say, to publicly disgrace her. But he chose not to, and to show mercy. And that is the heart of our God as well. And then when the, uh, when the angels visited him and told him to, to marry Mary, he did. And then we have John that I just read, who, who decides to start it off with this cosmic reality and take on eternity and talks about the word In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And from the beginning of reading this, we're like, what? How? How are we expected to understand that? 
And that's the lesson there. The story begins with you can't understand God. God is beyond our comprehension. And yet we can experience God as a light that shines in the darkness. And when we experience God made known in Jesus as light that shines in the darkness, then our stories begin and our stories join the stories of the gospel writers and the generations that have come before and the generations that will come after because we will share those stories that as we have experienced God as light in the darkness we will share like we shared last night one candle to another as we sang silent night Today we celebrate the light that is Christ and has come into the world and the darkness did not overcome it, did not overcome him, will not overcome us. Because Jesus is, so we are saved. Let your light shine. Tell your story that God is with us, that Jesus is born so that all might say with joy and sincerity, Merry Christmas. Amen.